We just can't get enough of the technology we've seen coming out of CES this week. A live look right now from the showroom floor where tons of companies are showing off their latest gadgets, including a self-driving car company that wants their vehicles all over our city. 13 Action News reporter Nina Porchenkula shows you how these cars can actually make the road less dangerous. And I know you went for a ride, Nina, didn't you? Right, yeah. Well, it was a very smooth ride, just as smooth as live drive right now where we have a driver here, Christina. Yesterday when we were in that self-driving car, it was a pretty easy, pretty smooth ride. We were going around the convention center down Las Vegas Boulevard, pretty much the same route that we're taking right now. But in terms of seeing more and more cars like that, that is a possibility because the makers of those self-driving cars, Aptiv, just opened up their hub here in Las Vegas. And that means they can make the ride safer for all of you. And here's what we found out yesterday. These are Aptiv self-driving cars. They look like your regular BMWs, except they have dozens of sensors and cameras to get a view of the road ahead. We think self-driving cars will be about 10 times safer than a normal driver. They can make decisions much faster than a human. So we put it to the test. Aptiv's Las Vegas managing director, Abe Gabra, and I hopped in one of those cars. It drove us from the convention center to the strip. And as with every other self-driving car ride, we had a safety driver up front. If a unique situation comes up that we haven't tested for yet because we're still doing ongoing testing, uh, they're ready to, to, to protect the passengers. But the car did the majority of the work. Inside, there's a tablet showing the car moving along. Pay attention to this blue streak on the screen, showing a driver cutting across lanes. So you see this car cut in front of us very, very late and the car reacted like a safe driver would. It didn't slam on the brakes, it didn't cause an accident. The car doesn't turn when it detects a pedestrian is still on the crosswalk. It was also programmed to not make a right turn at a red light due to extra pedestrians on the road for CES, leading to <laughs> impatient drivers. And if you want to test out those self-driving cars yourself, as long as you're traveling between downtown and the, the Strip, you can hail those rides through Lyft. That's how they have it. Those about 30 cars, self-driving cars going around Las Vegas right now. And, and yesterday, though, we were going around and it was very interesting because it was a 20 minute ride, but we had three drivers cut right in front of us and we had about eight drivers honking at us because we were being safe. We were not turning when there was still a pedestrian. Uh, on the crosswalks. It was very interesting and in how it was safe when it comes to safety and people are debating, well, can we trust these cars? Can we not trust these cars? Yeah, Nina, I always think with the self-driving uh, or with the driverless cars, when you're going through an intersection or making a turn, I feel like I would be <laughs> nervous. Did you feel that at all or it was smooth? <laughs> No, not at all, because the car was really smooth. It did not accelerate. It did not slow down unnecessarily. And it had all these sensors. Basically, unlike us, where we have blind spots, it has sensors all over it. So it has a 360 view, view of what's going on around it. That's now, Nina, real quick, one more question for you. You did say that anybody can come test these cars out. Is that right? On Lyft? Yes, so you can, if you have the Lyft app on your phone, if you are basically going between downtown to Las Vegas Boulevard or the Strip rather, it's kind of, their route right now is pretty much just centered on the resort corridor. You can hail a ride just like any other Lyft ride and you will see an option in your app that says it is a self-driving car so you can test it out. The rates are pretty much the same as any other Lyft ride. That is amazing. Yeah. All right. Or you can opt out. <laughs> or opt out. <laughs> Thank you, Nina. Thanks so much. Good stuff though. Love learning about it. Hey,